Now the Christians have developed new techniques. They come to you, they come to your house. They said, you believe in Jesus? You said, yes, we believe in Jesus. No Muslim is a Muslim, if he does not believe in Jesus. He said, you know, Jesus was one of the mightiest messengers of God. You accept that? He said, of course we accept that. He was one of the mightiest messengers of God. He is a major prophet. He is a Rasul. We accept that. He says, you know, Jesus, he was born miraculously without any male intervention. You believe in that? He said, yes, yes, we believe in that. Everything you've got to agree. Look, his plan is making to say, yes, yes, yes. You believe that he was born miraculously? You said, yes. Was your Muhammad born like that? He says, no. He had a father and a mother. He said, yes. That's all. He's called a point. That Jesus is a degree above Muhammad. He didn't say that, but he proved it to you. He says, you know, Jesus is Masihullah, is the Messiah, translated Christ. You accept that? Says, yes, yes, we accept that. Your Prophet Muhammad, was he Masihullah? Was he Allah's Messiah? He said, no, he's Rasulullah. But you see, Isa is Rasul and Masih in the Quran. Rasul and Ilab and Israel, Masih is Ibn Maryam in, the, in your Quran. He's Masih and Rasul. Your Prophet is only Rasul. He said, that is so. Jesus is another degree above Muhammad. He, 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 he's just proving it to you. He doesn't have to tell you that. He's proved it to you. He says, you know, Jesus, he gave life back to the dead. He said, yes, yes, Bismillah. Mm -hmm. He said, did Muhammad give life back to the dead, Bismillah? I say, I don't know. I have no knowledge. Jesus is another degree above Muhammad. He's proving it to you. He said, where is Jesus? He says, he's in heaven. He's coming back. He said, yes. Where is your prophet Muhammad? You see, he's buried in Medina. Perhaps his bones have rotted in the grave. We say, no, he's Hayatun Nabi. He's the living prophet. That's metaphysically, man, spiritually. But physically, maybe, maybe his bones have rotted in the grave. You say, maybe. Hmm? Jesus is another degree above Muhammad. Say, so don't you think God had a purpose in doing all that? He does things for nothing. Huh? In a few weeks time, you're going to make Idul Adha, Kurbani. You're going to sacrifice a sheep or a goat or a cow. Hmm? Without blemish, no fall. You're not cut, horn not broken, not blind, not limping, right? You look for a perfect animal. If God Almighty wants to make a sacrifice for his creation, is he going to look for second best? When you look for the best animal for your Kurbani, Allah is going to look for second best? You say, no. <laughs> He's proved it to you, his second best. Come on, come on, come on, talk now, talk. Talk, man, talk. No, this is not your field. You see, we didn't delve into that. Wallah, this is the simplest things to answer all. Oh, I have written a book called Christ in Islam that answers all that, but briefly, briefly. The guy said, Jesus was born without a father. I said, right, true. He was born miraculously. Muhammad was born like you and me, accepted. So therefore, he's superior to Muhammad. Is that what you're trying to say? He said, yes. Muhammad had a father and mother. Jesus had only a mother. That makes him superior. So if that's your logic, then the one who's got no father and no mother, Jesus had a mother. Right? He said, yes. But if the guy who's got no father and no mother, he's superior to Jesus. He says, no, that's correct. <coughs> who can that be? So Allah tells in the Quran, Inna masala Isa, inna Allahi kamasali Adama. The similitude or the example of Jesus in the sight of Allah is like that of Adam. Khalaqahu min turabin, Allah created him from dust. Thumma qala lahu kun fayakun. And he said, be and he was. So Adam is a greater God. He's got no father and no mother. Stand to reason. Your logic. Your logic. You said Jesus is superior to Muhammad because Muhammad had a father and mother and Jesus had only a mother. So right? Adam had no father and no mother. He's superior to Jesus. Are you prepared to accept him as your God? No. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> then there is another fellow in your Bible. In your Bible, in the book of Hebrews, there are 66 books here. One of them is called the book of Hebrews. Chapter 7, verse 1. It speaks about Melchizedek. Melchizedek, Melech, Sadek, 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 Melchizedek, the high priest of Salam, Salam, Jerusalem. 
without father i'm reading i'm reading chapter 7 verse 1 without father without mother without beginning without end who can that be these are the qualities of god he is the only one who's got no beginning no end who's got no father and no mother this man melchizedek has got that so he is greater than jesus greater than adam are you prepared to worship him your book your book your bible so in the ayah i quoted you allah says whenever they make any claim ask him kul hatu burhanakum produce your proof and he has produced it the bible anything in my bible says this my bible says that my bible says this. you must now learn to examine his book how do you do that i don't want to start from one end to the other encyclopedia 66 books you got time for that no no you get my little booklets and there's a body of society who are prepared to publish them i'm prepared to help them i'm prepared to help them if the community can't help these people to produce these booklets what the bible says about muhammad muhammad the natural successor to christ christ in islam i am prepared to help you there's a little booklet 12 page little booklet called what was the sign of jonah 12 pages little booklet like this 12 pages you master that there isn't a christian born who can stand before you but you got to do a little bit of homework you can't swallow a pill and become a superman black belt karate expert you got to exercise my sons you know that i don't know whether you know anything about karate you know i know karate i know boxing you know i'm telling you <laughs> so i know i have to sweat and sweat you know exercise weight pumping up weight and doing all kinds of things therefore you see i'm 75 years old i'm still standing straight before you guys <laughs> no you got to sweat similarly the little booklet you master that and there isn't a christian born who can stand before you but you got to do that homework you got to read the book learn the verses and men go to town the customers yes there's a, there's an ocean of customers here yeah the whole of kenya at the beginning of the century africa was 3% christian today 40% of africa is christian 40% and by the turn of this century they want to make africa a christian continent and there are every signs that they'll succeed if we're going to sleep like this the way we are sleeping they will succeed you are sitting back on the back side so we'll go to heaven just like that we make salat we give zakat heaven it's not that cheap wallah it's not that cheap you have to sweat for it however says melchizedek high priest of salah are you prepared to worship him in your book your book your bible how to burhan akum his burhan no he is messi muhammad is only rasul i said look every prophet is messi what is messi messi means appointed officially anointed anointed means priests and kings were in officially when you brought to the position they used to anoint them with holy oil or with water say so from today you are our priest from today you are our king that's all every prophet of god is anointed but we don't use the title we don't use the title for everybody we especially use for jesus he is masihullah who is kalimullah Who's Kalimullah? Musa. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. That means Allah spoke to him. Did he not speak to Jesus? He spoke to him. Did he not speak to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam? He spoke to him. But why we say Jesus? Uh, Musa Kalimullah. No, no, no. That's a title we give him. But all the prophets were speaking to Allah. See? Rasulullah. When we say Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Correct. But was is, is Isa not Rasulullah? Is not Musa Rasulullah? So the Quran says so. Musa is Rasul, Ibrahim is Rasul, Isa is Rasul. But when we say Rasulullah, in our mind, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Can you see now? It's a title you specially use for some. You say Alfred the Great in England. You read British history. Alfred the Great, the guy who burned the cake. Is that what he's making great? Hmm? Richard the Lionhearted. You heard the name? Richard the Lion Hearted British history Richard the Lion Hearted I say every other British king was a chicken hearted fellow <laughs> no but why you call this guy lion hearted it's just a title you give this that alfred the great or oh, whatever you have other great men no, you just akbar the great the bloody rubbish in india you know he tried to create a religion between hinduism and islam mixture the bastardization of islam and hinduism and we call him akbar the great this is how you just give titles to people masi Every prophet is messi is appointed is anointed by Allah but specially we give it to Jesus 
and so on. It is so easy, wallah, it is so easy if you do a little bit of homework.